Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will introduce the singular value decomposition SVD and will apply the SVD by demonstrating its use for image compression. Because high dimensionality is a common challenge in processing data from complex system. As an example, consider images which typically contains a large number of measurements, pixels and are therefore elements of a high dimensional vector space. However, most images are highly compressible, meaning that the relevant information may be represented in a much lower dimensional subspace. The SVD has many powerful applications beyond dimensionality reduction of high dimensional data. The SVD is used to compute the pseudo inverse of non square matrices, providing solution to underdetermined and overdetermined matrix equations. We will also use the SVD to deny data sets. So before applying the SVD to compress an image, first I will be briefly introduce the singular value decomposition, the SVD. Basically, this technique decompose a given matrix, non-square matrix into three matrices. U, orthogonal matrix, V, transpose, orthogonal matrix, and sigma, the diagonal matrix. The ordering of the vectors comes from the ordering of the singular values from largest to smallest one. The columns of the orthogonal matrix U are basically the eigenvectors of A, A transpose. Similarly, the columns of the orthogonal matrix V are the eigenvectors of A transpose A. The diagonal elements of this sigma matrix are basically the singular values and its arrangement is from largest to smallest one. And we simply it means sigma i equal to lambda i square root. Sigma i we use for the singular values and lambda for the eigenvalues. So basically, singular values are the square root of eigenvalues. And MATLAB computing SVD is so easy. So we will start from a simple example x equal to rand n. This means we want to create a 5 cross 3 random data matrix or no not here is 5 comma 3. So this is a 5 cross 3 matrix. It's a non-square matrix. So we simply need to apply the SVD command. So u comma s comma v equal to SVD apply on this matrix x. So one can see the result u is an orthogonal matrix. S is the diagonal matrix, V is the orthogonal matrix, but just using the SVD commands, we have some extra columns in this orthogonal matrix U, the fourth one and the fifth one. So to removing the extra columns, we need to use for the non-square matrices the economy option. The SVD is more efficient with the economy option. So if I'm just using with the economy option, so those extra columns will be removed. So this is basically we need to use as a string. So after applying the economy option, so one can see that the extra columns fourth and fifth one are just removing. So this is a simple use how to use SVD. So before discussing SVD for image compression, so first I will explain few important MATLAB commands really helpful in image compression. So first I need to upload an image using the mrate command and the name of the picture with its extension and the location is too important to choose from from which location you need to upload this picture then i simply need to use the m show command to show you this original picture so after running the program in a few seconds we see the original picture so this is a color picture with rgb rgb stands for red green and blue so then i just need for image compression to convert this image to gray scale using the matlab command rgb to gray how x equal to rgb to, to gray apply on this matrix a so now if i need to check the color the picture so m show apply on this matrix x then i simply need to run so now it's converted to the gray scale the differences and the importance is if i check the size 
of the matrix A, the picture A. So basically it's 3648 rows and 2736 columns and 3 strains for RGB. So after converting to grayscale, this 3 will be removing. We need to check the size of that matrix X. So now one can only see the number of rows and the number of columns. Then I simply need to convert this to a matrix. This the colors, this one, the X one. So I need to apply the MATLAB command double on this matrix X. Then if I am just applying the M show command on this X and just on this sorry X X and then I need to run. So here we can see only a blank matrix, but basically it represents the pixel, the number of rows and number of columns of that grayscale pictures. So we need to use these commands. So now, okay, we need to uh, now to start how to use SVD to compress an image. So I will be need this command and uh, I will be applying the a double one directly here. So basically this will first convert a color picture to the gray one RGB to gray then to double and that finally that will be stored in this matrix X. Then I need simply need to apply the SVD command with the economy option and this matrix X with the economy option. Then I need to check graphically. So first I will use the subplot command to show you all the pictures in one figure so then the image second apply and this matrix x and the axis will be off and we'll be using the color map gray so if i simply run this one then the svd command will be executed and first in this win sub window we will be only see the the grayscale of that picture so we need to wait for a few seconds so now one can see this is the original picture in grayscale now if i check the number of singular values apply the size command on the s so we can see that there are 2736 singular values for that original grayscale picture so i will be choosing a few one from those singular values and to know how much we can compress the data the image and those singular values will give how much information we can get from those singular values so i simply need to copy this portion then this will be the second one i am choosing just the 20 columns then i just need to x approximate then u colon this means all rows and the 20 columns because r value is 20 multiply with s so one colon r then one colon r then multiply with the matrix v the number of rows and one colon r and taking its transpose because we already know that a is equal to u sigma v transpose so i'm choosing just the first 20 columns so then i need to apply this command on this one x approximate then i need to choose the the 100 columns to check means the 100 singular values then i need to check for the 200 singular values and we also need to check this one this will be three this will be four we can also check the variation of singular values while using the similog y command of matlab so 2 comma 3 5 then similog y basically apply on the diagonal values of the singular matrix and i'm choosing the color k then we can also check the ratio of the cumulative sum divided by its total sum so the subplot in two three six then i simply need to use the plot command with the com sum 
the accumulate to sum apply on the diagonal values of s and divide by its sum and using the diagonal values and again I am using the color k one can also assign the x axis y axis so here I am just simply using x label so that, that will be only k and y label mm, I will be just using the means the singular values variation so now we need to save this program and need to run to check the results how much information we can get while selecting or choosing the 20 columns the 100 columns and 200 columns and using the SVD to check its importance in image compressions so here is the result so this is the original one and now just choosing the 20 columns this picture is not too clear still we can get some information from here but not too clear if you are selecting 100 column 100 singular values so the, we can get more information and if we use the 200 singular values we get more informations and almost similar to the original one and in the original one the matrix basically the, 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 the size of the singular matrix is 2736 singular values and here is just a 200 cross 200 and this one this graph shows the variation of singular values by choosing different columns and this is the ratio of the cumulative sum divided by its total sum so this is the importance of SVD how to use and to compress an image the SVD is an important topic especially in the courses of numerical linear algebra and in data science so thanks for watching this video